Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. So today I'm running through the runners from Zombieside Undead or Alive. I'm just going to be showing you the two different models, painting them the exact same colors. Uh, and But I'm trying some leather brown uh, primer from Army Painter and then dry brushing or heavy brushing with some Banshee Brown. The reason for this is I wanted to see if I could get like a uh, an even weirder dead tone with these zombies. Uh, so we're going to be starting off with some High Lord Blue. And this is going to be for their jeans or their pants or whatever. So on both skulls, it's going to be the exact same color. However, you're going to see that in the picture at the beginning and when I rotate at the end and the pictures at the end and stuff like that, I actually use a whole bunch of different speed paints on these guys. I want to do different colors. I use some, um, I think I use some uh, actual Gravelord Gray. I use... Um, Oh, what else is there? I think I'd use that, like, the green of some sort there. Absolution green or something like that. Anyways, I have a lot of fun with these uh, runners. And I have a lot of fun with the zombies, actually. I'm trying a whole bunch of new ways. Uh, with the walkers, I'm actually going to be trying um, a different primer uh, to give them a cold dead look. So this is going to be interesting how this is going to turn out. So we're going to be using malignant green on, these, uh, on the skin tone of these miniatures on the runners. So there's a couple spots here on this one and a couple spots like there's mostly the face, the hands and the arms. But then there's some ripped jeans here and there, the ripped shirt. Uh, like there's a whole underarm of this guy here, like his whole underarm, um, his whole area under his shirt here is ripped up. Um, and there's a bit of the uh, above his boots. And speaking of boots, we're going to be using some hardened leather. And I pretty much used the hardened leather on all of the miniatures, actually, like all the runners. Uh, just because I found that the, oh, you know, who cares about the boots being the same or whatever. But at least the shirts, the pants, and all that stuff is very different. Uh, and then we move on to Fire Giant Orange. Now you saw me use these on the Brutes. I find the Fire Giant Orange came out really nice looking uh, on top of that primer. Well, I want to see on top of a brown and Banshee Brown underpainting. So yeah, sometimes, you know, just doing your undercoating with some slap chop of a lighter color of whatever you have as a base coat is a great idea or as a primer. And, I, and you give it, it gives it a different hue, a different tone. Um, I found that with the other one, I think I used, what was I used? I used a green scheme underpainting for the uh, the brutes and I found it gave them like a sickly look. This one, it gives them more of a rotting look, I find maybe more, especially with the malignant green face. It really gives them like a sewery look uh, using that blood red on the scarves. Now this is only on one of the models that has that, uh, the scarves. So uh, there's, uh, I think there's what, 12 or 16 runners? I think there's 16 runners in total. And uh, yeah, so I'm using dark wood uh, on the hair and on the belts, but I actually used some holy white on some of the hair on eight of them. So eight of these walkers have holy white. It makes it look like they have gray hair, so they're older zombies, you know, and these are a bit younger zombies. So there you have it, folks. The runners, that quickly done. I mean, here you go. All of them are painted up. You can see the different colors I'm using here. Uh, it looks really cool. It'll look amazing on the table. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying these. We have the walkers coming up eventually. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you all in the next one.